Hello, everyone. Welcome to Out of Bounds. I'm your host, Lisa Matthews, and our special guest this week for week two, Justin Bethel. Thank you for joining us, even though you're a little <laughs> under the weather. Yeah, just, just a little bit. You have some Kleenex for you or something for you. <laughs> Don't a, worry. I got a box in my book bag. <laughs> well, it's a fun show. We have yeah. fans sending in questions, so be sure to comment below. We have some games prepared, too. It's all about the fans getting to know you just a little okay. better. Yeah. And we'll have uh, Brandon over here. He'll be monitoring all of your questions, so be sure to send them below. But first off, first things first, how did it feel to have the first touchdown <laughs> for the Cardinals this year, um, that pick six. It, it was nice. I actually didn't think about it that way. For me, I just thought, oh, I got to, you know, I got to pick, and I got to run it in for a touchdown. I didn't think about it being, you know, the first, the first. Uh, touchdown. Um, it's nice, though. Um, definitely a, a great way to start, you know, start the season off. Take me through that play. Like, what were you thinking when you saw the ball coming your way? Um, Cause you cut inside a little bit. Josh Bynes had a great. Yeah, he got box. his he got his hands on him, and yeah. uh, I just I saw the ball coming, and I saw Tate was uh you know I saw it was overthrown a little mm -hmm. bit, so I was like, oh wait a minute, I think I can catch That's this. My ball. Yeah, <laughs> and I um, caught it, and you know kind of hit the sideline and got some great blocks and was able to. Um, Eighty two yards. Yeah, you know, I was tired after you that. You were tired. But, yes, I was tired. <laughs> And next gen stats, right, Brandon? What was it actually? One hundred and eight yards. One hundred eight point four. Wow. Longest play of the uh, yeah, week. Was, it felt like it. I was, I was tired the whole first quarter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, this upcoming Sunday, just a chance to get back on track. What's kind of the vibe just around practice and with the guys just preparing for this upcoming game? An um, important game. Yeah, uh, definitely an important game. You know, you want to win these road games, uh, and I think you know after the way we finished finish last game I think we all have that mindset of you know we gotta go out there and do what we can do but do it for four quarters um and be the team that we know we can be Absolutely. um so I think I think the focus this week is just really just going out there and uh making sure we get technique and communication and things like that down so that we'll be able to play a full four quarters yep come back home one on one yeah. for Monday night football <laughs> exactly. it's gonna be a big one all right well let's jump into some of our games that we've prepared oh, for you some games let's you love this. some yeah, aren't it? okay this. All right, the first one is a little fill in the blank, so I'm going to give you a sentence, and you're just going to fill it in, okay? Okay. Patrick Peterson is a blank athlete. Amazing. Amazing. Bruce Arians' coaching style is? Straightforward. <laughs> to the point. <laughs> <laughs> Blunt. Ar uh, Arizona's weather is? Hot. Hot. Yeah. Brandon, come on. We know Arizona's hot. <laughs> <laughs> you could have went with dry. You know, it's dry. a dry heat. Uh, well, no, dry it's hot. Heat. I don't think about dry. I think about hot. <laughs> the Cardinals have blank fans. The best. Oh, a little double blank. The <laughs> best. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Scoring yeah. a touchdown feels... Amazing. Glorious. Oh, glorious. Uh, glorious. I'm doing better than you. I, I wouldn't use glorious. When do I get to play these I, games? I wouldn't use <laughs> glorious, though. That's, that's <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's me. That's not me. Tyron Matthew is a blank teammate. Hmm. Be a, careful here. <laughs> uh, uh, let me see. He is a great teammate. Okay. All right, we'll work on this. We'll work on this game. <laughs> the Cardinals' defense is blank. one word huh yep just one word we'll let you slide for this one if you have uh, shut down okay is shut down okay got it got it <laughs> okay good job that was the first game kind of loosen you up That's a little a weird bit game. I, don't like <laughs> I didn't make it up I mean, i'm just kidding Sorry. <laughs> that's all brandon right there uh, a few of the other games will we'll get more interactive I I'll okay i'll do better in the other games okay we'll, we'll give you a little break right now we're gonna go to some of the fan questions brandon okay. So Jennifer wants to know what is your number one goal to achieve this year? Um, my number one goal is to get to the Super Bowl, obviously. So yeah, do what I can to help the team get to the Super Bowl. In preparation for this week, do you feel better after the team's Week One performance heading into Week Two? Do you guys use it as motivation? And that's uh, from Andrew. Um, uh. I think I think you, that's all you can do is um, especially when you you know don't get the the outcome that you want. All you can do is, is use it as motivation and move on past it and just learn from it and uh, 
use everything that you can to get ready for the week coming up. Heather would. Uh, Heather said um, her nine-year-old son uh, would uh-huh. like to know who your favorite defensive player is. My favorite defensive player, as of right now, I live with a lot of. I play with a lot of great players. You live because you. Uh, yeah, I just, <laughs> you're I, I'm here all the time. Day. Yeah, every day. Um, I I think one of my favorite my right now I'd say Patrick just because he's the best out there doing it and I get to play with him every day. I get to uh, hang out with him and. Um, you know, you get to know him. He's like a brother to me. So I, I'd say Patrick. Was there one maybe growing up that you had too? Funny story about that. I didn't uh-huh. watch a lot of football growing up. So I didn't never really have a favorite. What would you watch? Cartoons. <laughs> the same <laughs> thing I watch now. True. Uh, um, but if I had to say one, um, being a defensive back, obviously Deion Sanders is uh, one of the greatest ever. And um, he's somebody that you can look up to. Awesome. Um, and kind of, Going off this, uh, so last one, then we'll get to the next segment. Uh, with David Johnson out, how has that affected the morale around the team? Um, I don't think it's really affected us too much. Obviously, you know, the type of player David is and, you know, the things he can do on the field, uh, you know, in the you know in the backfield and out in the slot, um, you definitely miss it. But I think we, we're really confident in Kerwin and Dre and all those other guys that are, you know, we brought CJ back and – I think uh, we're really confident in what they're going to do and how they play them and the things we'll be able to go out there and uh, set up for them to make big plays. So I think we're we're confident in uh, everybody's, you know, high spirits and we're ready ready to go. Next man up. Awesome. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Lisa's got the next game. Okay, so okay. next this game. This one, this one's going to be great because we know that you love music. You're a oh, musician. Okay. Play yeah. the drums. Uh-huh. So it's a little name that tune. Okay. Are you yeah. ready? We this. actually have music coming in. Okay. I'm not good with names and songs. Concentrate. Oh, that's uh that's uh the new boss. Yeah. That's right. Off our C D, yeah. Who? Of who? House of Bethel. Who's yeah. on the drums there? Uh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> we I said, wanted to trick you a little bit. I said, wait a second, this sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it should. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Give us a little background on that. That's awesome. This off season, you and your brothers put together this album. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Um, so it's something that we've always we grew up in uh playing music. We all do some kind of play some kind of instrument. Um, it's something we we've always wanted to do, and this this is this isn't over one summer. This has been like the first song we ever recorded. I think was like I was in college, so it's 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 like an accumulation of a, mi- a month, bunch of years. We record something here, uh, and my brother would like a lot of the stuff. My brother he he wrote a lot yeah. of the things. So um, over the years, he composed we, everything, correct? Uh, for the, yeah, he composed how does yeah he composed everything for the most part. <laughs> Give him Craig. Yeah, no, he's. <laughs> It's great. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so it's kind of been over the years, and we kind of finally got to the point where we got enough songs and kind of comfortable with everything. And we're like, hey, man, let's just, you know, let this, we'll, we'll drop it this year and, you know, just kind of go on from there. But he's, uh, he's got hun- lots and lots of songs more that he's, you know, he keeps writing and that, uh, you know, hopefully we can just keep going with it and keep throwing yeah. music out there and enjoy it. And, I, and for me, it's just, it's, it's something cool to be able to do with my family. Mm-hmm. Um, so and, talented, yeah, all of you guys. Yeah, yes, yeah, it's, it's it's cool when you got a family that can do multiple yeah. things and uh, something like this that y'all can bring together and just like, hey, let's do let's this and make there. an album. Let's drop yeah, an let's, album. Let's do this. <laughs> and you know that's what my dad does for a living. So it's, right. for him, he you know he he knows how it goes, how to do it, and and certain things that you know that you got to go through to do these kind of things. So yeah, yeah that helps. Well, you not only play the drums, but uh-huh. you also do a little piano, correct? Yeah, I can. You can sing. No, 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 I can't do anything right now. <laughs> Not right now. No, I can. Uh, no, I can. I've taught myself to play the piano a little bit. I, I try to practice every day. I'll just go through songs that I know, and the more you do it, that you kind of learn different things. So, uh, hopefully, like usually. I, my practice times are in the off season, like when I'm not doing nothing. I'm just home all day. I might play for like an hour, an hour or so, mess around with it, and uh, try and get a little better. Well, we know Robert Kandichi can play the sax, yeah. correct? Is there any other guys that can play some instruments that you want to make um, your own little colonels? I band? know Mo can. I think Mo said he can play piano or Moma? guitar. Yeah, I think oh, he said wow. either guitar or p- uh, piano. I think it's guitar though. Um, who else? Yeah, you're on the I could band. rap. No, if you don't put him on your <laughs> mixtape. Do, do, do not put him on your mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the backup. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I, I know Kandichi can play sax, but yeah. Uh, and besides him and Mo. 
I don't know if anybody. Brandon's he's come over to my house and played the drums, but he's not that good. He's not that good. <laughs> See, I would love to play. Not you, Brandon. No, <laughs> no, no, no <laughs> that's Brandon. I, I, I would play love drums. to play the drums or the congas. Like that's for me. I've always wanted I actually. To. So Can I grew play? up when I was just growing up. I, the first thing I, I, they let me play was the bongos. Oh my that was gosh, the first that's thing. my dream. Is <laughs> but I played it so much it like made my hand like was Flat? really. It was, no, it's like oh. really hard. But mm. yeah, the skin. It wasn't like cows. Just the skin was really tough. Yeah. From playing on it all the time, but. How about you? What would be your instrument of choice, Brandon? Besides trying, your rap skills. I'm a rapper. <laughs> the, that's triangle. About, the triangle. The triangle. The rain stick. That's, all I could do. <laughs> that's what I did in the back. I did like a drum line when I was in college in the oh class. You a recorder. Everybody had to play the recorder. I had the, uh, no, you know what I did was the, uh, the cow- recorder. I did yeah. the cowbell. I like failed more miserably. cowbell from the SNL skit. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Yeah, they still yeah. talk about it. And that was like 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but my family, we, we barely pass like the next stage on rock band, so we got a long oh, way to go. I love rock band, all this stuff. <laughs> <but yeah. laughs> all right, all right, let's do another game here. Thanks for sharing with us your little music. Oh, yeah, journey. I try. That's I try. awesome. <laughs> 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 you try, you try. All right, this one is called First Things First. So I'm just going to say a statement, and then you're going to tell me. Is there like answer, a correct reply. answer that I'm supposed to say? So, like, no, I mean, no. no. I'm going to ask you like, like the first, first time you played football, you're going to tell. Oh, and I tell you yeah. the answer. Okay, okay. First things first. First. Okay. Get it? Get it? Yeah, I got it now. Okay. okay. Right. First time you played football. Sixth grade. Okay. What did you play? Receiver. Running? I thought you were running back, no? Nah, I play receiver. That's how your stiff arm came into play. In <laughs> I was, I, I was, thought, I thought. I was so tiny, though. I was like four and ten, maybe. Did any of your brothers play football? In high school. Okay. Yeah. First time you scored a touchdown. Middle school. Yeah. Did you do a little dance? No, I've never had any dances. I just, I'm usually so tired. I'm like, <laughs> exactly. I'm like, jump up, okay, here. Give me a shoulder. First time you knew you wanted to play in the NFL. Hmm. First time I knew I wanted to play in the NFL. Probably. Okay, this is weird. So, okay, so the the first time I really, really thought about it was probably not until my sophomore year in college mm-hmm. or sophomore or junior year in college. But there's this thing that my – I think it's my mom or my aunt has that I wrote when I was in either middle school – I think I was in middle school, and I wrote that I want to grow up and play in the NFL. Oh, but I don't remember – awesome. I don't remember writing it. So I guess that would technically – You need to find it yeah. and post it with your <laughs> – Awesome TBTs that you do on Instagram. You won't be able to read it, though. It's so bad. It's like, it's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> First thought when you stepped onto University of Phoenix Stadium field. Wow. Yeah, that, that was, was the, Yeah, that was the feeling. It was, uh, it's like, man, it's it's really surreal. Mm-hmm. Kind of, especially once you first get, I remember the first game, uh, one of the guys who got drafted, me, me and Jamel, we were sitting on the sideline. I'm like, man, we're we're in the NFL, man. Like we're we're here yeah, on the yeah. side, like we're in the game. So uh, it's, it's definitely like a surreal feeling. Feeling we'll never have, Brandon. <laughs> first thing, <laughs> ba. S- <laughs> first thing, <laughs> ba said to you when you met him for the first time. Oh man. Oh. Hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Like the first time I really talked to him, he was cussing me out. And, uh, <laughs> well, we can't say that we're live. <laughs> okay, then don't repeat. <laughs> All right, Brandon. Any more questions coming yes, in? Yes, we you? have. Uh, we have a couple more questions for you. Um, so, what's the Lewis wants to know? What's the best aspect of being a football player? The best aspect, um, I'd say, the different uh, things it allows you to do. Um, it, it gives you oper- a lot of opportunities to go out and meet a lot of cool people, go a lot of cool places, and um, I think that's probably one of the coolest things. All right, we got two more. Uh, so Only two Richard more. Richard wants to know: uh, Are we ready for indie? Of course, yeah. straightforward. Yeah. Straightforward. And yeah. then I think this is what I thought would be a a good one for you. Um, how many more pick sixes would be ideal? Because you have two in your last two games. Um. I plan on well, one game. I, my my goal going in was I wanted at least three, so pick sixes. So the season, yeah, three oh. total or three more. Three total, but I might get three more. So right. well, you so have let's one. say four more, five more. <laughs> yeah, I got I got high expectations uh, for myself. <laughs> make the people of the Cardinals defense and fantasy football happy. Oh, make them very happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that's all we got for the <laughs> social questions. Thanks and for playing with uh, us and answering us. all these questions. Do you these have hard, fun? These hard games y'all got going <laughs> on. How about, do you have a message for the fans before we 
we take off. Um, y'all guys just keep supporting us, um, and we're excited about the season. Um, just keep keep trucking along with us, and I promise you, you'll be excited about it. Yes, thank you for sending in your questions. And as we sign off, let's take another <laughs> listen to one of your tracks on House of Bethel. What song you is this? The drums. This is uh, Back Bounce. That's Back Bounce. <laughs> Thanks, Holmes. There's a lot of bounces in this uh, CD. <laughs> thank you all. We'll see you next week.